diagonal BD divides quadrilateral ABCD into two triangles. Are these triangles congruent? So let me quickly explain what is the meaning of this word congruent. There are two words which are often used in case of triangles. One is the similarity, the second is congruency. So similarity is the case in which we get two figures which have exactly the same shapes. But the congruency is something in which the shapes as well as the sizes are also identical. So the shapes as well as sizes must be same for the two figures to be congruent. And here we are talking about two congruent triangles. The answer to this question needs to be given in the form of yes or no. Let's check the first statement. The first statement says that AD is parallel to BC. So here we have to quickly draw a figure in which AD is parallel to BC because our sole intention in data sufficiency remains to prove that the statement is not sufficient. So I have drawn one figure in which I have suggested the names are A, B, C, D in which AD is parallel to BC and diagonal BD is this longer diagonal and that is dividing the two the quadrilateral into exactly two congruent triangles because they are exactly identical so answer to the question is yes however because ad is parallel to bc so there is another figure as well that we can draw and that figure will be a trapezium a trapezium which is not isosceles trapezium that means this non-parallel sides are unequal and in this case once again the nomenclature is the same in the same order that means i'm marking them a b c d and BD is dividing the quadrilateral into two figures, but this figure is not same as this figure. So answer to the question is no. And at this stage, we can say that the first statement alone is not sufficient to answer the question. We can eliminate option A and option D at this stage. Now let's look at the second statement. The second statement here says that AB is equal to CD. All right. So once again, we have the two figures that we can draw. One figure we can repeat that is the parallelogram here. And uh, we have this parallelogram in which the opposite sides are parallel as well as equal and this diagonal BD divides the figure into exactly two equal halves and we are still marking the figure as ABCD and these two figures are same so answer to the question is yes. And the second figure because AB is equal to CD so let us draw a trapezium which is isosceles trapezium in which the two legs which are non-parallel sides are equal. So this is ABCD in which I have drawn that this side is equal to this side and if we draw the line BD then it does not divide this quadrilateral into two equal parts so answer to the question is no so the second statement alone as well is not sufficient to answer the question. In this question, in fact, combining the two statements is quite simple because even if we look at the two statements together, we can see that the figures taken in the second statement are still valid because in both in these two figures, I've always taken AD parallel to BC and uh, in both the figures, AD is parallel to BC and AB is equal to CD in both the cases and still because A d is equal ab is equal to cd ab is equal to cd in this case the opposite sides are also equal so the answer to the question is still yes or no therefore we say that even after combining the two statements we are getting inconsistent answer which are shown in the second statement and therefore the final answer to the question becomes option e because even after combining the two statements the information is insufficient to answer so the final answer is option e i hope you enjoyed the explanation thank you so much